What's going on everyone? Gilman with the Volthy back with our daily Apple update video. And it's been a crazy day in the market today. Um, we're down kind of all across the board, major uncertainty, major selling off, um, which has you know been no different for Apple. So let's take a look quickly, right? There's not too much to go over since this wasn't Apple specific um, and it was just a market sell off, but let's take a look at Apple and kind of how it traded today um, and what the future potentially could look like to the best we can, right? So much uncertainty, but to the best we can. Um, so if you wanna hit the like button, I really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel and comment down below what your thoughts on the overall market are right now as we sort of head into you know more uncertainty um, as time goes on. So let me hit the one day chart. Um, and what we see here is you know not a great looking chart. Let me zoom out. Um, huge gap down, right, from the 117s, right, or 116s all the way down to here, 114, 115, and then we dropped at one point hitting 112s um, below the view app. Then we came to test the view app, broke it below it, broke it, um, and then we were kind of playing around. So basically um, found really good resistance at 112. We did, so this horizontal line that I have drawn, the 112.72 line around the 113 mark, you know, as we can see, right, it didn't hold up towards the end, but it did hold up a bunch of times, right? It held up kind of right there. Then we tried pushing above it, couldn't. Then when we were above it, the acted as good support. And then, you know, kind of at the end of the day, we fell. Apple is down $5.40 today, which is 4.63%. Taking a look at the NASDAQ, it was down 3.73%, right? Huge gap down. And then, you know, this, this sort of sell off, right, at the end um, was seen across the board. The Dow is down 920 points, again, 3.35%. And then S&P was down 3.41%. Um, so, I mean, just taking a look at the Dow, um, if you guys remember Monday, we had a huge sell-off as well. At one point, the market was down 900 points. And um, we did see a little bit of a recovery on Monday. Um, we did not really see that here. Um, at one point, we we're down 900, then it was 500. Um, but taking a look at, you know, kind of where we were in the 283s um, and then today being at 265. So, you know, not really a great day for the or great week so far for the stock market. I think we're down, let's see, 283 to 265. That's almost 1800 points and it's not even the end of the week yet. So hopefully, um, you know, we see some reversal, but um, you know, don't go all in um, thinking we're going to bounce because Again, there's so much uncertainty about the election and about coronavirus. You know, if you compare Apple, right, again, I just want to point out that this was a an overall sell-off, right? If you take a look at Google, right, again, same sell-off, down $87, 5.5%. Microsoft was down $10, which is 5%. So when you take a look at Apple being down, you know, all tech names were down, which really sucks because tomorrow, yesterday was earnings for Microsoft and the focus wasn't really on the earnings. And tomorrow's supposed to be earnings for Apple, Amazon, I think Facebook and uh, Shopify, a lot of these huge companies that typically would drive excitement into these stocks. But because that, you know, it's the sentiment of coronavirus cases rising um, has sort of taken over and, and election and stimulus being completely gone, that's sort of taken over. So. Let's still take a look at some levels. Um, so as you remember yesterday, I drew three lines, right? Um, 120, 150, 119, and 117 that we were sort of hoping to get, right? Which seemed really reasonable because we were kind of around this 117 mark. We'd captured it, but we closed below it. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of these lines. Actually, no, let's keep them so that hopefully, um, you know, there's hope and, and we can get back there again. Um, but you know, if we were to take a look at these um, horizontal lines, right? What I did was I was drawing this this pattern over here, um, and then I said, you know, let's see if we can continue breaking it. But if I were to stretch it out, again, we made a lower high, and that sort of lower high trend continued. 
today. Um, but the key thing to focus on is kind of how we ended. Um, and we didn't really hit the high, which was 115.43. That was sort of at the open. Um, and then, you know, for most of the day, we were around the 113s. And then we ended in the 111s, right? So let's take a look at the daily chart again. This 113s around it um, held up kind of as support, as points we didn't, you know, we bounced off of it a couple times, but then we sort of sold off into the close. Some key indicators to look at, although, you know, we're probably really far separated from a lot of them. Um, 50 day moving average is at 117.38 and 20 day moving average is at 116.85. Um, you know, both pretty up there. I would like to see the stock getting up there, but with that being said, you know, it's kind of uncertain on what happens next. And then the EMAs, let's take a look at them anyway. Um, the eight EMA is at 115, the 21 EMA is at 116, the 34 EMA is at 115.59, and then the, 30, the 55 EMA is at 113.45. Those are all sort of levels that Apple could push towards and hopefully capture those EMAs. The one down below is at 108.53 and I remember, I think it was yesterday, I was like, oh, I don't think we get to that level, um, but we might if the sell-off continues now. Um, the 89 EMA should hold up as good support. It's at 108.53, but kind of zooming out of that, right? I think that, you know, below this, what we see is that 113 level, um, as it acted as good support, you know, we should see that a, like a similar level of support, um, you know, down here in the, in the 109s is held up a couple times, um, over the course of, um, you know, going back as far as mid September, right? So we should see here and here. Um, so I'm hoping that if we do drop, right, the 110 will be like a mental resistance. And then in the 109s, 108s, um, potentially 107s, but hopefully we don't get that far down, um, could, could act as good support. Now, if we were to move back up, like I said, I would like to see it capture some of these EMAs. So if it could capture the 55 EMA and the 113.45s, we'll be up above that 113 support level um, that has held up pretty strongly besides that you know strong dive into the close. Um, and I'd like to see you recapture that. But I just want to remind you guys that, you know, the election is next Tuesday. So if you're doing, you know, if you're if you're in positions, make sure that you're kind of accounting for that risk. Um, a lot of places in Europe, like France, and I think Germany are getting higher coronavirus cases. And a lot of people have said that we are two to three weeks behind Europe. So that could be something that, to think about um, as we see an increasing number of coronavirus cases. And then the last thing is Apple's earnings are tomorrow. And I know a lot of you guys, you know, obviously watching this video are interested in Apple. Remember the IV crush that happens with earnings, right? So typically um, going into earnings, the IV is high, which makes options more expensive. However, after the, um, you know, earnings happens, the IV sort of goes down, right? Because people are expecting the stock to move with earnings, not after the earnings. And a big part of options pricing is that um, IV. So. You could, I mean, Apple can go up after, right? Let's say Apple's trading at 113 tomorrow and we hit earnings and we go to 115. That doesn't necessarily mean the value of your option is gonna go up by $2 being $200 because of the reduction in IV. Um, so just be sure that you um, are aware of that and, and are trading according to that. I'm personally gonna look to lighten my positions. I know today was a horrible day for me, um, but that's okay. You know, you have good days, you have bad days. This isn't something that I could have seen coming. Neither could anyone else have, right? I knew I wanted to be out before elections. I didn't know if I wanted to be out a week before elections, um, but I'll look tomorrow. I think we could see a bounce maybe, right? I, I'm not gonna say we are for sure gonna see a bounce because no one knows that. But if, you know, if we get a bounce, I'll look to see and sort of lighten my position. If we keep dropping, I'll probably also exit my positions to avoid any, um, you know, forced kind of, no, I'm going to stay in this position because I want to make money. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys are trading safely. Um, make sure to always make a trading plan before you enter a trade. Um, that's all I had for you guys today. Hope you guys are having a good week so far, even though it's been two horrible, horrible trading days, um, Monday and today. Um, but you know, hopefully it is what it is. The market takes the market gives, um, let's remember to be a bit better every single day. And until next time.